What's going on, family? I'm Scrapbook Boxing, Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. Let's continue to examine the history of the flyweight division. Let's pick it up June 19th, 1943. Jackie Patterson would knock out Peter Kane in one round in Scotland, and he would gain international recognition as the world champion. Now, Jackie Patterson was born in Springfield, Scotland, September 5th, 1920. He'd be managed by Pat Collins. In September 30th, 1939, Jackie Patterson would win the vacant British Flyweight Championship title by knocking out Patty Ryan in Glasgow. He knocked him out in 13 rounds. Now, Jackie Patterson was a knockout machine. He'd be in there with some of the greats of his time. Many men he would knock out more than he would just by defeating them. When you look at February 3rd, 1941, we take on Patty Ryan. He would knock him out in eight rounds. And it would be for the British and Empire Flyweight Crown. July 16th, 1941. He would take on Jim Bradley in Gascow. He would lose in 15 rounds. And that would be for the British Empire Bantamweight title. But what was amazing about Jackie Patterson. He would always get back on his horse and ride again. And that's what I most respected about the man. June 19th, 1943. He would take on Peter Kane, Glasgow, knock him out in one round. And he would win the World Flyweight title. And you got to give him credit for that. September 12th, 1945. He would take on Jimmy Bradley in Glasgow and defeat him in 15 rounds for the British Empire Bantamweight title. But March 19th, 1946, he would win the European Bantamweight title when he defeat Theo Medina. So I've always respected Peter, Jackie Patterson. February 10th, 1947, he would defeat Johnny King in Manchester, knocked him out in seven rounds. And he would win the British Bantamweight title how impressive that was. Do you normally hear the name of Jackie Patterson in your conversations? Do you normally see his records? Do you know some of the opponents he might have faced? And this is the problem. And this has always been the problem in that flyweight division. Whitney Monaghan had retired April 25th, 1950. And Terry Allen had won the vacant crown by defeating Horny Pacelli. 15 rounds in London, England. Whitney Monaghan, his name was John Joseph Monaghan, began his career in 1935. And he would win the NBA flyweight title October 20th, 1947, when he would defeat Dada Marino in 15 rounds. But March 23rd, 1948, he would knock out in seven rounds Jackie Patterson, and he would win the world flyweight title. Now, February 7th, 1949, he would take on Terry Allen in London, and he would lose in 10 rounds. But April 5th, 1949, he would defeat Maurice Sandelier in Belfast, he would defeat him in 15 rounds for the world flyweight championship. Brittany Monaghan, another fighter who you might not be as familiar with. Terry Allen, you may not be as familiar with. But these men were very good fighters. Yoshio Serrani, May 19th, 1952, had won 15-round decision over Dado Marino. And this is what I mean about these young men in the flyweight division. You don't quite get the gist of their accomplishments because you don't quite know who they are. And it's no fault of your own. It's just that that flyweight division wasn't the most popular. If you go to 1988, you had a fighter by the name of Michael Carbajal. He fought a fighter by the name of Chiquito Gonzalez. I was at both those fights. He stopped him in the seventh round, although he was down in the third round himself. 
He was the first million dollar flyweight champion. A magnificent fighter was Michael Carbajal. Good Mexican fighter, but good fighter overall. I always wanted to see him fight Scotty the Bulldog Olsen out of Canada. They wind up fighting. They were up in age at this time. But when they were in their primes, I always wanted to see that fight. And didn't get the opportunity early in their career to see it. But I was blessed to see Jaquita Gonzalez and Michael Carbajal. When you look at these fighters, when you look at the history of these fighters, take in consideration the weight. They were fast. They were near with very hard punches, such as Pascal Perez, who defeated Yoshio Shirani. Defeated him in Tokyo, Japan, 15 rounds. Fighting Harada was another good fighter. He was a southpaw. Oh, he could punch. He could punch. So I want to shout out the flyweight division. And I'll try and have them in more of my conversations as I continue to review fighters of the past. I'm Scrapbook Boxing, Museum of the Forgotten Fist of Series. All great fights and all great fighters would never be forgotten on my channel. Thanks for watching.